Islam. It's January the 19th, 2024. I mean, 2022. And I'm at Whole Foods um, about to go to Burger King. Um, one of the um, workers that come to Burger King here at Whole Foods, um, I see her come in quite a bit, um, was saying that I have to wear a mask. Now, here we are. And um, I, as I walk by, she said I need to leave the store if I don't have a mask on, okay? So you see people with no mask. And people come in here with no mask. So I told her, don't talk to me. I said, um, if people are eating with no mask, don't talk to me. And then as I walked by, she said she need to leave the store. And then she come to Burger King um, quite often. I'm in Annapolis, Maryland. I came here to get a coffee and sit down and drink a coffee. There, um, there is not a covering over those that are eating to separate them from um, um, <laughs> from those that are shopping with masks on. When you so when you're dealing with those who are outside of constitutional law and they don't practice constitutional law, they think you ignorant. They literally think you, you don't have any um, form of common sense. But then there's a government that actually think people are ignorant and not um, um, involving common sense, which is connected to constitutional law, because they literally have many classified as animals. Classified and identified as animals. I'm I'm getting coffee now. I use almond milk. This is almond milk. Yeah, so um like like I said, if you look over there, there's still someone over there um eating with no mask on. Or looked like he was eating. I don't know if he was, but no mask on. Like there was someone over there with no mask on. There is no covering separating those <laughs> those who don't who's shopping with um, with and without masks. Like I said, there's a government that exists that literally have those that they feel uh, that they, through, um, maybe through chemistry and they know that, are, that have classified many as animals. <laughs> 